Hello everyone, just here, and uh, yeah, it's come to this. <sighs> I'm going to be playing a game that I particularly not like. It would probably be my top 10 least favorite games of all time, and the only reason I'm keeping it is because I can do a Let's Play on it. So, let's go, and let's play... Kung Fu Panda Legendary Warriors. Yes, this is the game. Um, it's Waggle Frenzy. It's like literally... To punch, you have to waggle like this. To do your special move, you have to waggle like this. Uh, yeah, it's a uh, yeah, it's it's one of those kind of games. Why is it not? What's happening? Wow, that was a long loading screen. And usually, Wii games will let you just skip that, but. It won't let me skip this either. Is my controller broken? I think my controller's broken. It won't let me skip anything. Wait a second. There we go. Now we're good. Okay, my controller just glitched out there. Luckily, I didn't have to restart the video like in, um... Like in my Sonic Rider Zero Gravity Let's Play. Okay, we're good, we're good. Okay, we're good. This is Kung Fu Panda Legendary Warriors. I will give this game one thing. I actually really like the title screen music and I'll let you guys hear it. Yeah, I actually really like the title screen music. So, let's go and we'll start a new file. Um, yeah, great new game. I actually really like this song. Um, one player. And we'll be playing as Poe. Um, each character plays the exact same, so I'm just going to play as Poe. Just make it a P, why not? And cutscene. Long ago, in an age of ancient timeless time, the Valley of Peace was totally peaceful. Even the most innocent rabbits could live without fear. Because this was a time when real heroes roamed the land. Hand over the goods if you know it's good for you. I don't think so, bad guys. as peaceful in the valley as everyone thought. All of you, come with me. They're almost through. I don't want to do something. I love... Ah, it's so nice to be with them. This will be very nice for you. You may proceed. Round up the rabbits. Get as many as you need to power that thing. Prepare yourselves well. The Furious Five will come. So that was the first cutscene. Um, and we have a training stage to... Go ahead and do, so yeah. This game. Um, see, to be honest, even though it's my, like, probably 10th least favorite game, I don't have that very many bad games, so... I still actually like this game a little bit. Welcome to the training hall. Shake the Wii Remote to perform a basic attack. So yeah, you shake the Wii Remote up and down, and you'll perform this attack. Attack that I'm doing right now. 
Um, press B to block. You can go like this, block like that. The chi meter will fill up during combat. When the chi meter is full, then you kind of press, you hold C and move the nunchuck. And you will, yeah, hold C and flick the nunchuck to perform a chi attack. Perform, perform chi, three chi attacks or collect rabbits to fully charge the rabbit meter. The rabbit meter must be full for the rabbit attack to be unleashed. Hold C and, and gesture with the mirror mode, which is basically just uh, kind of swipe upright to perform a rabbit attack. This move requires a fully charged rabbit meter. Hold B and press this in any direction you use the dash move. I would use the dash move a lot because it's really helpful in battle. You, during dash, press A to perform a dash attack. Uh, which, that's cool. I actually like doing that as well. Sonic the Hedgehog here. Sonic the Hedgehog here! Flick the nunchuck upwards to perform a launcher attack, which will launch any enemy in high air. To do a heavy attack, you should forward with the Mirmo nunchuck. Um, I won't be using that that much just because it takes a lot of extra effort <laughs> to do it. Um, keep your bow for the weird mode, and to either side to execute an unblockable attack. I, that I won't be doing really much either. Press A and B at the same exact time to recover from a launcher attack. When knocked out, shake both of the weird modes and nunchucks at the same as fast as you can refill your health meter. So literally, you cannot die in this game. Um, you, the only, the only way to die is if you don't care. <laughs> Collect lots of flowers to refill your chi meter. Collect gauntlets. Triple items. And that's the end of the trailer. Yeah. Celebration coming up. I'm sure you'd feel better if you take a look around. So okay. Um Yeah, we're at six minutes right now. I think each episode will be probably one level, maybe two, depending on what time how much time. Yeah, that was literally one level. <laughs> There's a oh cutscene. Diversions all over the map, forcing the Furious Five to separate, making them easier to overpower. Ah, come on, that was such a simple plan. We totally could have figured that out. Hurry up and get ready. We have some rabbits to catch. Fun! <coughs> we did it! We got one of the Furious Five! So yeah, um, literally this game, each level has three segments. First up, you have the main battle arena, which is just defeat as many characters as you can. Oh, cutscene. Okay, but each level has three segments in them. One is the battle arena, where um, where you basically just defeat, defeat a, a number of enemies and then go on. Secondly, there is the uh, there is the mini game, which is which is probably costs for maybe around one or two minutes. And then there is the boss area. But okay, let's go ahead and fight some enemies. You just shake the weird mode over and over again. No, nothing more than that. I mean, you can maybe do that. You can maybe do this. I forgot how do you dodge, actually. I forgot, uh, is it B? Is it... Yeah, it's A, yeah. You can maybe do that. Maybe do a little of this. Maybe do a little of this. But most of the time, you're just shaking the mirror mode rapidly to hopefully get what you need to do. You can perform a chi attack by uh, defeating a number of enemies. Um, once, it, once the chi meter comes all the way up... Oh, and go and dodge from this... You can do a ground pound like that. So I'm going to do a chi attack really quickly. So you hold, you do that, and then you draw the symbol that is on the screen. So it's going to do this, and then you go, okay, P. As you saw, it didn't work, because this game is bullcrap. Most of the time, your chi power will not work. Um, it only works when it feels like it. Most li like most of the time, it only, it only works when it just feels like it. Yeah, one of those kind of games. Or literally, the thing is so broken that it just will not read your, your uh, attacks. So, 
be prepared to lose a lot of chi powers and waste your chi a lot. It only really works when it wants to. Um, so just keep on swinging, keep on swinging, swinging, swinging. And eventually you will finish the this area. I'm going to go and use my chi power again. Hopefully it'll work this time. Okay, P. Yeah, yet again, it doesn't work. Um, I don't know. I don't know what kind of strategy there is, if there is a strategy, but yeah, uh, I don't know when it works. It just feels like you know, it's it's literally the game's literally that bad that it only works when it feels like it. Uh, so that's a pretty big problem with the game. I'll, I'll try again, and uh, hopefully this will work. Let's go and make a massive attack, and let's see if this works. Okay. There we go. And that's what happens when you beat a chi attack. Um, basically, you get... Whenever you finish a chi attack, your uh, Pell will do a massive attack that basically wipes out an enemy in one hit. Um, yeah, perform three chi attacks or collect rabbits to fully charge the rabbit meter. The rabbit meter must be full for the rabbit attack to be unleashed. So, yeah, that's really it. And um, we are almost done here because no more enemies are spawning. It's only these last two and then we are done. Uh, okay, okay. No, we got more. We got more. We got company. We got more company. We're good. Okay, get that. And let's go ahead and do one more attack. One more chi attack here. Hopefully it'll work. Okay. Yeah, chi attacks don't work that often, like I said. Um, yet again, I, if you saw, if you saw what I was doing, I was literally, uh, I, I, I did that, uh, letter about three times, and it did not do, do anything. It just sat there and did absolutely nothing. So it's like, yeah, that's the thing with this game. That'll happen a lot. Okay, I'll do another chi attack, and hopefully this will work. Yeah, uh, chi attacks, I mean, you, you keep on doing chi attacks, because they do help if they work, but, <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, not very, you know, not very effective, as you can see, and a lot of the times in this game, you will get pummeled, pummeled to the ground, you will not be able to jump up, and you will die, um, you will die a mighty fine time in this game, but most of the time you can just recover very quickly, and, yeah, dying isn't really a bad thing. Okay, did the circle. Okay, hold C and Gishu the remote to perform a rabbit attack. Yeah, we already know that. So just keep on shaking, keep on shaking. And that is it for the area. Okay, so the next mini game is the rocket chair, where basically in the movie he did launch off a rocket. You will do that here, and basically just well, shake like crazy, shake like crazy, shake like you've never bef before, and there we go. We are at 13 minutes right now. We're actually almost done with this level, and here's the rest of the mini game. You have to pinpoint, you have to pinpoint like this. And keep him in the circle. Come on, just trying to keep concentrated. There we go, I got it now. Keep him in the circle, and there we go. And here we have the boss fight. Okay, so here we go. Basically, just uh, attack a bunch of enemies, attack a bunch of enemies, and then eventually hit the hit the boss. Like here is the boss right here. I'm gonna use a chi attack, 
and hopefully, there we go. And there's actually a health bar down there, um, if you can see. Like, there's the boss right there, and he's a big attack. You have five seconds to get back to the arena, so yeah, um, that's basically that. And let's go and do that. There's the, uh, there's that, get him. So yeah, all, there's multiple copies of them, basically just attack them all, really. You never really know which one is the right one. Um, okay, when the enemy indicates a, a chi attack and your chi meter is not full, yeah, chi meter. Um, basically just avoid it, really. It's pretty easy to avoid, actually. Okay, I'm going to do my chi attack, and hopefully this will finish him off. And there we go. That should have finished him off. There we go. That was it. And that was it. That was the level. Um, let's see. Oh. So, um, there are literally only around, I'd say, probably, if I can remember, six levels. Um, yes. There's only six levels in this game. You heard me right, six levels. Each level is around 15 minutes each, with, um, basically, basically, every single level has that same exact area, which is just, like, an arena level, then... A mini game and then a boss fight. That's literally all the six levels, including the final boss, has that same routine. Basically, meaning that the whole game amounts to around an hour and a half long. Yes, you heard me right. An hour and a half long. Yeah. A Wii game. And when did this come out? 2008? A Wii game. In 2008 is only an hour and a half long. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> it's gonna be a fun let's play. But anyway, see you guys next time where we will play more Kung Fu Panda Waggle Warriors. Um, so yeah, that is it. See you guys next time.